let's change the title. Uh, the title is Okay, first just shut it off. Okay, haha, it's gone. Now move it so that it is not somewhere that makes me contemplate homicide. Um, yeah, except that's like the bottom. Put it in front of the camera. Yes, because uh, hiding my camera feed is most of what it does. Okay, now, business. This is professionalism. Andriel is currently a faceless void. It is very fetching on you. Um. <clears throat> um, sometimes the light hits her face just right, and it, she's just this glowing orb. Oh, wow. We have... <laughs> Hold on. Let me turn that on. That's good, because um, the roll 20 feed never works. So we should use uh, the feed you yeah, are using. I, I, yeah, I figured... Well, you mentioned it last time, so I figured I'd, I'd you know, handle it. <laughs> yeah, except now... Streamlabs will not do it. But that makes it worse or better, I can't tell. Worse or better? It won't work. Work. No, but it's jack all. <laughs> <coughs> She's so pale that the light reflects off of her face and makes her effectively invisible. That's how cloaking devices work, except they usually use tachyons. She just uses being a ginger. Traffic cameras hate I, her. Yeah. I remember one time uh, we went to our grandma's house and it was the middle of the night because, you know, it's just a long ass car drive. And I got out. Why the fuck does In the middle of the summer, work? I was wearing this pale swimsuit and I swear I glowed in the dark. <laughs> I, was, I was just reflecting so much light. I'm like, I'm a cryptid now. <laughs> Did you know what cryptids were back then? No, but I can translate it into common vernacular. Match title, otherwise find window of same type. I'm so happy I know what a cryptid is. Match title. Well, I think a lot of people probably, at least it's more interesting to live a life knowing what a cryptid is. Do you... Why? All right, what if I just change you to literally anything else? Look, Streamlabs is now streaming Streamlabs. That's not weird at all. Okay, now let's try. Half of my lip, half of my lip gotcha. That's fair. Suck it, Miriam. <laughs> By which I mean, welcome to the stream. <laughs> um, how do I... There we go. Nope, that's terrible. But if column script happens to end up on camera, he'll be displayed, apparently. That's not what I was going for. No, but... you, no you should click on the... If you, if you click on the double, the triple dot, you can do... Uh, you can unclick show non-video presentation. I, uh, I have to buy a camera first. Oh, that's... Still Plus, I'm actually, I'm actually allowed outside tomorrow now, which is great. Oh, fantastic! I, I still have a few You're more days. Outside? I was on... Uh, Close case contact stuff, which means you have to quarantine for two weeks. Mm. Yeah, I didn't get it, but yeah, thankfully yeah. I didn't oh, get I anything. Oh, you were in contact. Okay, I was yeah. like, I heard closed case. But like, close case, yeah. Pop? Close, not closed. He's not curious. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So they did contact tracing, and turns out somebody I work closely with had it and was positive. So they sent me for testing, and then Canadian rules say that even though you test negative, you still have to quarantine. Godspeed, DJ Shot. You didn't know Cosgrip was Canadian. Why do you think I'm making all these Canada jokes? Because Canada jokes are funny. They are. Well, they're a lot funnier when Cosgrip happens know. to be Canadian. I know you didn't think he's Canadian. Hey. There's a lot of reasons to think Cosgrip is Canadian. I live in Idaho. <laughs> okay, that's true. The the average American is Canadian compared to our neighbors sometimes. So, but I'm looking forward to tomorrow. I can go out in a boot, get some waffles and some maple syrup. Hell yeah! <laughs> Don't get any syrup enough? anywhere near me. This shit's already too sticky. It's probably on the I, microphones. Ugh. Unfortunately, there's a little bit of sugar in syrup. I don't know if you knew that. <laughs> 
Um, okay, so uh, let's see. We have a screen display. Some of I'm Tim's. Back, some of Tim's ready what? Ready for action. Also, so, high diesel shot. Some of oh, Tim's wow. what? Yep. Yeah, it's very. Yes. There's a lot of. There's a lot of. Socialization happening. Tim Hortons. Oh, mm, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I was pretty sure you were Tim, and so I got very confused for a moment. Um. How? Okay. Turn the table on. And go. Oh, ha! Yes. I'm a freaking super moment. It's so funny. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it kind of fits the uh, sci-fi yeah. aesthetic. Maybe we yeah, should just leave that on for now. <laughs> if I minimize this, do you go away? She freeze frames. Mm. Okay, that's a little strange. Uh, that's gonna be complicated. No, just keep it open and put it behind whatever window you have. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'm behind you all the way. I, I believe I've done this before and I figured that out. What am I? I might also be full of shit. Yes, right here. No, you're, you're fine. It was, it was the minimizing that caused the, also, we're like slightly off kilter and it's going to give me a heart attack. I'm gonna have a brain aneurysm in a sec if I don't Wait, change that. Your your camera is like a millimeter yeah. above and or below mine, and if that doesn't change, I'm gonna implode. But it's hard because I have all of the lights I can find in the universe on and pointed at my person to such an extent that I am cooking to death, and yet your iridescence is incomparable. <laughs> 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 Not to get anime here, but I think we found your new quirk. <laughs> okay. I'm clearly not. Well, they, yeah. There's only a couple of corporations left. So, um, and I don't imagine that whoever owns Tim Hortons is particularly. Uh, pro consumer. Okay, let's get rid of the overlay. Um, I tried to put it back on because I didn't want to have to deal with this trash down here at the bottom. Um, but it, it failed, and so now I I do. Um, I still kind of want not Jesse to be on screen because that's funny to me. I'll get a camera eventually. It's okay. Oh no! Align it. Align it up. Put it. Put it above. Put it above my face. I'm I'm working on it. Miriam, just so we're clear, nothing in the way that any of our streams is ever displayed is because I am succeeding at doing something the way that I intend to. This never If this what is this? A tenth of a pixel? No, it's clicking on something else. That's that's not the right thing. I'm not moving the table. All right, move the table, please. Uh, bu -bu 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 I need to get it far enough to yes, okay. And then can I uh I'm I'm just being pedantic at this point. And people are like actually watching, so I should like stop. Um But if we do it just right, then we could potentially have The identifier, not Jesse. Nope. Sharia still takes precedence for no reason. This was all a waste of time. Uh, yeah, no. You don't <clears throat> have to, yeah. You put chairs to the side and you put them above it. Yeah, like makes an outlier um, on the on the left side. Yeah, like a, a half target. Okay. Um, Why do you not have a name? Uh, you have a name on my on the when I'm in DM mode. Do you have a name only I can see? Is that what that is? Well, I have a name on my screen, so it might be that. So, so I can only see um, uh, 
Quell and Enduring Appreciation's names. I do not see anyone else's names on my screen. I do see them. I do see uh, Thraxagor and whoever the other guy is on. Why? Where, where are you getting that H? You know what it is. I I have screwed Sharia out of the H in her name so many times that now she's inserting extra H's into Traxagor. It, it, it might also be because of Proxmere, because it does sound kind of similar. Proxmere doesn't... I mean, there's an H. <laughs> and an X. And an X, but Proxmere and Thraxagor do not... That doesn't track him. Right. No, you're not. <laughs> That's a whataboutism. It is not applicable. Look, I'm just trying to turn your otter into ah, an otter. my prefrontal cortex. Ah. <laughs> it's filled with gibberish. Grandpa, <laughs> Grandpa, I need you. I need you to help me later because I need you to teach me how to actually write a rant as a video essay on how right I am and how wrong everyone else is. Holy shit! And I can do the hell out of that. <laughs> do you know how hard I work to not do that? <laughs> If you, if you seriously, if you're seriously gonna make a video essay about that, I need you to get a hold of, um, I need you to get a hold of Percy and help them do one too, because Percy is, was in a similar situation last time I interviewed them. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's a serious problem. Well, no, per, per, Percy's more into horror podcasts. And their horror podcast theory was under attack because of a very popular ship. Um, but uh, if there's a place where your ship isn't going to float, it's in a horror podcast because they'll fucking kill you. Right? Like, yeah. those characters are both going to die. That's what it's about. Uh, speaking of characters yeah. that are going to die. Um, so, um, as an aside, okay. Or you um, can completely derail the conversation. Continue. Uh. In the Magnus Archives, which uh, so far the detail I mentioned to you is that the, the Panopticon was actually built at one point. Um, but in one of the things I recently read, they combined the idea of pea zombies with a uh, zombie infection. So this, like, this isn't this isn't an aside. Yeah. This isn't an aside. This is screaming chaos. This is Miriam's job. Why are you talking to me about this right now? Uh, ph philosophical zombie. They're they are indistinct. I'm leaving. The By the time I'm coming back, not... hopefully whatever it is that you're getting out of your system will be gone. Hey, 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 I'm giving you a test something. Pour me the rest of this coffee. I, I moved it. That's right. I grabbed a copy earlier so that I would not need to get up in order to do specifically what I'm doing right now. Okay, let's go back. Yes, it's up here. All right, I would never have thought to look there, and now. I've burned my hand because the coffee, at least the coffee's still hot, right, because of the, well, in that container anyway, it's probably cold now because I poured the stuff out of the container that doesn't keep it warm. <clears throat> I should also open the window Have you to anyone because it is hot, like very hot, because very, very hot, and I'm a sweaty, sweaty lamp. Okay, I, I have returned. Now, um... I have no volume. Why is there no volume? Check, check. Hello? Uh, we can hear you. Well, I can hear you. Hello? Hello. Yes. Hello? Okay. Yes, I can hear. That was disconcerting for a moment. Okay, let's see. This is... Yeah, everything is ready to go. So, where are... Where's the character information at? I do not have the character information. That's fine. Um, I have decided that we can do certain mild bits of fudging regardless, because as I have said last time, it became apparent to me that there is no um, tracking for the expenditure of experience on um, stats, which means that we can't abide whatever would have limited the use of stat modifications regardless 
So as near as I can tell, we can just move around. Now, that might be in some sort of violation. Like, for example, if you were doing this in Dungeons & Dragons, you shouldn't be able to get less than 12 if that's what your racial bonus was in. And I'm not paying that close attention to racial bonuses, but that just means that you had a 9 instead of a 10, right? So that's fine. I'm not worried about it. Even if it... Yeah. What just happened? I've lost the table. I definitely understand what you just said. That particular instance of... Chrome just but, crashed. Just oh, that yeah, one Chrome yeah. window. That's the only one, though. I do have to let you all know that I am extra stupid today. I don't know what's up, but I just cannot parse anything. I hope I, you're... I'm on my neck. I took those. I do not know what's going on, but, you know. Um, well, I hope your character isn't supposed to be smart. Uh, my character is only so smart as they generally aren't stupid enough to wander down empty alleyways without a company. Okay, cool. So smarter than Mamba. Not that that's yeah. a stupid move for Mamba, because Mamba can kick at the ass of anything in that alleyway. Yeah, exactly. regeneration does tend to lead to arrogance, this is well known. Um, if okay. it can fit in the alley alleyway, I'm pretty sure Mamba can take it. Or at least make it very uncomfortable about what it's doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> make it rethink its life choices. Uh... OBS, burp, 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 shared oh with, God. yes, this one. Oh, I can. Oh, that's so convenient. But that's not what you're displaying. Streamlabs, you're confused. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right, show's back on. Pretend that didn't happen, nine viewers. <clears throat> uh, the... None of this none of this matters. Okay, we're gonna start um going from here over. Um Van Pelt and Traxagor um are going to be mostly uh narrative entities. Um which means that what happens is whatever the hell I damn well say for the most part. Traxagor is not on the grid. Your mother's not on the grid. Um and <laughs> that that is that is true. That is something that I've come to acknowledge. I, I still don't know why you don't have name tags on these characters. They they're they're on my DM screen. They just aren't on um, the game display. Okay. Uh, then the next one, which as I said, um, your guys' feed is is fine and all. I mean it. it it's interesting or whatever, but I'm talking, uh, when I say the player feed, I mean the show. You're moving the words around. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I was not trying to move the words, but I accidentally moved them. So I had to move them back. What the hell else am I holding? Okay, uh, so we're going to start with Enduring Appreciation, apparently. Um, because I thought that we were just going to go in the way that they were displayed, but then in, as soon as I said that, everybody moved their characters, presumably in order to make me wrong about what I was saying. <laughs> um, probably because they were only listening enough to realize that I had mentioned that they have characters, which made them immediately start fiddling with them. Um, I should have known better. Uh, is there no way to go to the... There's no way to go to the sheet from the token... I know that these changes are like months old, and that by now I should definitely have figured them out, but I have not. I was expecting. I'm the red one. You are the red one. Good job, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I said it, and then I realized that that wasn't going to help you solve your problem, and I was like, "What the hell am I talking about?" Good job. You have identified your character. <laughs> I'm also having connection issues, so be wary of that. <laughs> the signal jumper right. turned red, and I poked it, and it turned green. But none of that, none of that bodes particularly well. Okay, um, you may remove up to three somethings and put them in your melee if you so choose. 
Cool. For example, you probably don't need a three of systems on a six of cognition for a wrench bonking mechanic. Uh, yeah, except my talent is about cognition systems. What does it say? On my display, uh, it's less than a quarter inch in height, and I cannot read it. Gain a plus two modifier on cognition systems tests to navigate, manipulate, and circumvent bureaucratic systems, public or private. If there's paperwork, you know your way around it. Okay. Which may also include hacking. When you say three, does that mean you only mean skill points? What? Um, well, I can't exactly put anything else into my melee. Look. Yeah, that, that goes explicitly for Shreya because of how that character wound up coming into her possession. Yes. Um, I decreased my empathy, my empathy skills across the board and put them all into melee. Wow, that's so, a choice. Well, I was about to make the same request, so... Um, well, you know... Um, it can be your turn now, then, and we will look at you and see. Well, I was doing that, and then that's what I was bitching about earlier. Then everybody started moving the tokens, and that's what I was using as the visual reference, so it became false regardless. Oh. Um, no you just are missing numbers, it looks like to me. <laughs> really? Did you already, no. you're not in the process of moving anything? Three, six, nine, you only had nine? How many did the other one have? It doesn't matter. You get who you get. Um, because that's how we're playing it. Spend 12 points total. Max 3 during character gem. Okay. Yes, good. Everything is fine. I don't, I don't see how. Um. <coughs> you probably don't have a stun gun, though. Um. No, I know. We'll. Yeah, and I will. I will You're deal with them. I am because I have no idea that that is a thing and that it I didn't realize. Oh yeah, because we can barely see the boxes. That was the thing. Yeah, I was like, these the the character sheets are amazing, and you were like, diesel shot sucks. Look at these buttons, and I was like, hey. <laughs> hey I, user interface. But thanks for reminding me that I need to swap what stream my character sheet versus the map is on. Yeah. We so love you, Diesel Shot. shot. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we do. But, like, fix the buttons. <laughs> they, that's, they, they were very thankful for whoever did this, and the only flaw with it seems to be the buttons. Um, for yeah, the range of melee. This is 100% true. All of that The only flaw is that on some streams, those buttons are illegible. I mean, they're considerably better than our sheets, which cannot even be imported. And if they could, I don't. Sure. I don't know. Code man would have to have done it. He's the only coder we know. Is that true? I'm sure we know more coders. I know. Literally, everyone in my family knows how to code. We're just not good at it. I mean, I don't really know how to code. Is that? He's the only one who does it. Well, you two count as the same person, as I've said many times. <laughs> um. Oh, I see. I have all of her skills. Got it. Leah can make websites, but I don't think she can, like, do code, though. And Cameron, I think, is probably the same. I um, that, obviously. So, instead of all of that, you want to move numbers from somewhere to somewhere else. Where were you thinking of moving them away, and where to? I was going to put two points in resilience instead of empathy, because I like the idea. Because the thing about um, friends is that, they're, that they are described as um, curious, and prone to exploration, and so I was going to take the the stance of more prone to exploration than being smart about that. That did not answer my question. I mean, I get the feel that you're going for, but as far as the rules go, well, narratively, yes. But I'm looking at a, I'm looking at three zero three, and none of the things that you said are numbers. Do you see what I'm saying? So where are these numbers going? Uh, I go back to handling things turn by turn, like you originally. <laughs> you want me to come back to you? Is that what you're saying? Okay. 
<laughs> yeah, well, you've confused me too, mostly by being confused. But I don't see how you could be. Okay. Um, so now we're looking at uh, curiosity passion. That is definitely a scientist. Um, yeah, and I think it works his skills because it's already pretty heavy stack for scientists and non combat. I like how your gender is gender. Well, you know, that's the list you had. Um, what is the strength threshold? Is that supposed to be resilience? Probably. Um, resilience is, in fact, like, well, it has melee involved, so yeah, that, that is totally strength. Um,. General threshold is five unless you have an archetype or a species modifier. There's so a, I'm allowed to get a six for some reason. There's a general what? threshold? I didn't know that. Max five, oh, six for archetype oh, stats. So yeah, okay. Plus one to it means that you are able to have more in that thing than five. Yeah. Well, that, that... Yeah, like I'm, I'm assuming because scientists, I'm allowed to have six in cognition. It's just like... Yeah. It's just like having a twenty and then having your or an eighteen and having your racial bonus make it a twenty. So you actually get a plus one to your cognition from being a oh, uh, being a bug. Being bug. Bugs are smart, apparently. Um, not a just that's not a blank plus one. That's a potential plus one. What? It's a threshold. Shrug. So so it sounds to me because it says threshold, and what that conveys to me is that I can apply more than. So it says negative one to strength, which implies to me that I can only put four things in strength due to racial shenanigans. I can have a max of four in strength, which I presume is resilient, so resilient. What are you looking at? Whereas, I'm looking at the book that you gave us! <laughs> <laughs> and then it says plus <coughs> one to empathy special, which implies to me that I can have a six in empathy despite it not being my archetype because it adds one to the max, which is five. And six is what you get for archetype stuff. I shouldn't have given you the book. Well, you know. <laughs> um, okay, so. You let time travel, Ampe. Here's... Then you can solve that. Yeah, exa but that's what you're doing. You guys are time traveling because what you don't realize is is that the book that I gave you, being a fixed yeah, object, yeah. is not the live document. So the updates haven't changed, which is why there are things like strength when strength isn't on here. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and so, like, I'm looking for threshold at all in the current version of the rule book, and the word threshold does not seem to be in the book. And when when there when I found the word threshold anywhere, it was in a provisional document, and it's I'm talking about weapons. So, um, so it's right after stats, like straight up. It says stats, and then it lists two things, and then it says humanity instead of threat. Yeah, this is. Uh, well, I don't know why. Look, one of the reasons. Moving on. Yes, exactly. One of the reasons that we're doing this the way that we're doing it is because I don't want to know any of that yet, and I don't have to. But when we start making our own characters after this run through, we'll have experience with the system, and then you'll also have options like you know the news guys and everything else. Um. Whereas now we're limited to this deliberately so that this kind of shit doesn't stop us from being able to play. Which is why, even if there's some technical reason why we might not be able to do it, um, the movement of up to three skill points from one place to another is not unreasonable. So, uh, for example, looking at Curiosity Passion, the scientist... Um, under cognition, security, medicine systems is a three one three. Um, so we might fudge that for some reason. Um, although I don't see why this character already seems to be pretty much what we desire, right? Like this is this is right in with what we're trying to do for the concept of the character and for what I'm imagining the game is. And it's a very big trade off because I have no no resilience skills. And no, like, ship flying maneuverability. If you're suggesting that that's some kind of revenge on my part, then I will have you know that I am trying to come up with a way to distract you from that. 
No, I'm saying it's a. This is not a full like a. I'm not saying balanced as in like versus the system. I'm saying balanced across all skills. I didn't put a skill point in every skill as I leveled up. Like I'm specialized. Yeah. You're but, more of a wizard than a monk. No. Yeah. No. This well, character. This character is not an adventurer. <laughs> None of his points are in anything that does. Let's let's talk about that for a minute. By the way, no, I shit the bed and I deserve to be here. That's well the way my character sees it. Okay, so I have I'm well on the record many times describing what an adventurer is because everybody is playing adventurers in all of these games, but none of them know what that word means, and. Basically, they just, you know, at best try to play their character the way they see their character, but sort of in a vacuum that happens to have other people in it. Whereas, you know, I'm always going, no, an adventurer is somebody that has um, skills that are very uh, specific, often extremely dangerous and difficult to employ, and it, they wind up doing some kind of entrepreneurialism of the self based on those skills that involves things that society tends to frown upon or that uh, society members of society in general do not do on the grounds that they will be eaten by monsters or arrested by the police or whatever it is. Right. Um, and that's all very important. And it's, it needs to be understood that that is one of the reasons why these characters are for lack of a more appropriate word, heroic, um, murder hobo is probably closer in a lot of cases, but you, you know what I mean. Well, familiar with reading entrails. Boy, I hope that's apropos of nothing. Um, but I digress. But these characters, these characters here, um, what I'm planning for for this story is you straight up just work for a university. Um, the, uh, Trinity's university has just been basically reestablished out of a number of things that were 86 for one reason or another during the conflict, um, or because of the conflict, which has to do with like, you know, whatever the interstellar equivalence to Trump university was and, um, things that were destroyed, um, among the, um, the Mirai's uh, infrastructure um, and things that the Thren have to reorganize now that they are um, integrating with these, these two other peoples, right? And so that has created this new university system in space, space university. And that facilitates trying to bring in a bunch of people to be able to do a bunch of things in order to help move this project along. But a lot of it has to do with reappropriating resources from the previous regimes. So this mission is going to be about a bunch of people basically working for ultimately a school, going to a, um, a site that used to be part of the Earth's empire. And... Like what? Like the indoctrinating babies into colonization. Indoctrinating babies. Yes. That's that it's might cool. that might be one of the only things that they aren't doing. <laughs> um, because this is higher education, and very few babies get into higher education, in my experience. I see. Um, it's, a, it's, a it's also more for research. It's just that. The, I also But anyhow, um, so the idea here is that this particular site, they're dropping off Enduring Appreciation here because this is the place that, um, or not Enduring Appreciation, Enduring Appreciation is the salty one. CP yeah. is the scientist uh, because it's Curiosity and Passion, which is, again, that's an extremely scientist name. Yeah. Um, the very aptly named CP is being dropped off here because this is their new place. Although Enduring Appreciation is probably supposed to be here, too. Um, uh, Quay well, is... Clearly, 
I either am an engineer or was an engineering major, and I'm doing something with the engineers. Well, yeah, this 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 facility requires engineers, and as I said, you were uh, replacing someone. Um, and then Charles um, is probably bound for the place as well. Um, Charles is the uh, computer specialist. So would you say Van Pelt is our leader? Uh, Van Pelt is Van Pelt is a hacker. Um, so Charles isn't in charge. No, Traxagor is in charge. Um, Professor Traxagor is the um, Rastian geneticist. Um, okay. And um, genetics is a big part of what this facility was about during the war and what the facility is about now. So part of how the uh, piece of the Trinity was formed is that humans had to be modified. There were a number of reasons for this. For example, Charles here has been genetically modified so that he is able to detect the pheromones put out by these uh, Mirai here on the crew. That was oh, cool. with, without genetic modification, that would not be the case. And there would be certain levels of interaction that would not be possible. Um, well, because from what I've been reading, like a lot of interaction between us is feelings of the of what you're putting out, right? Like the anxiety or the stress that you put out. Yeah. Um, kind of tailors conversations. Well, weirdly enough, a lot of ma mammalian life on Earth kind of works like that too, and humans don't have it. Um, it it's actually... Do know other we don't have olfactory... Well, we do know from the process of elimination that human beings can gain subconscious information olfactorily along those lines. For example, um, when women's periods sink, that is olfactory. And we know that because um, when their olfactory senses don't work, it doesn't happen. Um, I can always... cite Sapolsky on that one if necessary. You, um... <laughs> you consciously control your menstrual cycle. Um, but anyway, even when she's probably like not, she's not there, and she's actually dating regularly. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be perfectly frank with you. You are the last person I am going to talk to about figuring out when a woman is being dirty. <laughs> now, so yes, the uh, that sort of thing had to be done, and this is one of the places where that kind of research has been going on, and Traxagor is among the rest, the, the authority on uh, genetics. Um, this is important for a number of other things too, which might come up during the story, but probably not until then about, um, the way that humans handle, um, genetics ideologically, which is extremely problematic and the Thren and the Rast don't necessarily have that problem because they've been dealing with other species from other planets for a long time. Whereas humans have not everything on this planet that we have genetic information about is interrelated in some way that can actually be shown. Um, so we're frighteningly ignorant as far as manipulating our genes go. And yet we did it. So there's that to deal with. Um, maybe not a big deal with carrots, probably a big deal with babies. Uh, so yes, all of this will play into the story that's being told. But basically, um, Kwai is flying the ship. Uh, Van Pelt is supposed to get to the facility and update the computer systems. Traxagor comes and goes. And the other two the Mirai here are to be, are coming in to replace uh, personnel who are leaving. Quell, am I wrong? Is that not what that is? Did I say Quai? Is it an I or an L? If it's an L, it's Quell. If it's an I, it's Quay. And even that might be wrong. So, I have a question. Am I supposed to currently have a melee weapon? Um, we're not even talking about equipment yet. 
I need you to okay. understand why it doesn't make sense, for example, that Miriam's character is a fucking pistolier or whatever. <laughs> um, right. So, I was actually going to bring... I, I figured out what I want to do with those points. <laughs> You're going to hate me for it. Yeah, I'm kinda, I, I, that's the sound of me about to be mad. Um, I, I would like very much for you to move points out of firearms. Well, <laughs> look, you, you're metagaming because you know that there will be trouble and you want your character to be able to shoot the trouble. Um, no, I am rather See, than Rather than metagaming, I am trying to turn my character into an elven version of Han Solo crossed with Jack, um, Jack Harkin. Yes, but you you should not do that. But I want to. <laughs> what about somebody who likes the idea of being that person, but is not trained for firearms? Because there's no reason that the character... The commercial pilot doesn't need to, to have that. Your hometown had very strict um, uh, anti-gun regulations. <laughs> so you couldn't get any training. Yeah, you solved everything with dance battles. I don't, can I have a one in ballistic? Yeah. Okay, I put You're the two you took from ballistics into communicate. FYI. Don't fucking fiddle with my character. She doesn't yeah. know what I have to do myself. All right. <laughs> it's, uh, I, I closed it. I closed uh, it. <laughs> I'm not sure why that all, seemed like the thing to do. <laughs> don't fuck with my shit. Um, there, the, the only co-DM is me, and there is no actual DM. The actual DM is just exactly. the sky, essentially. Um, I that's how I like to think of it. The actual DM is Lee, who is way too busy to deal with us. So I'm just winging it. That's that's what this game is going to be. And then then I'll worry about doing it right. Um, Do you consent to me making a decision that you want to defend your, uh, like, and shenanigans? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's great. It's just, you know, you're not Han Solo now. Yes, I want to be there. Yeah. <laughs> well, who doesn't? I know, right? <laughs> um, I think Han Solo might have been a bit fed up with it by the time he was murdered by his own son. Spoilers. Yeah. But, um, you know, other than that. I mean, it wasn't a terribly glorious life. It just looks good from the outside. Your character could be super into human media. No, don't do that. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> I hate that shit so much. <laughs> no, no. They just, they know about the idea and they, and they are a bit, they like exploring things. Yeah. And they are just smart enough to not explore things without backup. Just like, uh, just like Han Solo. He's got, he's got a Wookiee with him. He's got Chewbacca. They're broke. It's amazing how much trouble you can get out of when you have a Wookiee on hand. <laughs> right? <laughs> I too wish to be the the sort of adventurer, or adventure is not the right term, but it's the term I'm going to fucking use. No, I don't know. So, I I think that in your case it is because your character wants to be an actual adventurer. Well, yeah. Well, because because Thren are known for being serious about exploration. Yeah. So I do. I want to explore stuff, and maybe not in the super regulated, strict way that people would like me to. <clears throat> Thank you for your time. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. 